And first up here at 6, we're getting a better look now at the body camera video from an officer-involved shooting in St. Pete this weekend. Here it is. We first told you Saturday, police say this man, Jermaine Small, fired at random at two different locations in St. Pete before firing at an officer and shooting that officer who does have minor injuries. Pinellas County Sheriff's Office just had a press conference wrapping up a short time ago, and Fox 13 Genevieve Curtis was there. He joins us now live with some updates. Hi there, Genevieve. What more do you know? Yeah, Mark, we've got some key takeaways here. The Pinellas County Youth of Deadly Force Task Force is reviewing Saturday's shooting, but today the sheriff called this a textbook response from St. Pete Police and say Small, the suspect here, now faces charges of attempted murder of a police officer and attempted murder of a man who was just doing yard work at his home on a Saturday afternoon. I want to show you the surveillance video that we just got from outside of the Shady Side Food Mart convenience store on 15th Avenue. The sheriff says this shows small outside of that store engaging with this gray Honda Accord. They say he fired one shot before he ran away. Then he shot at a partially blind elderly man who was doing yard work just a few blocks away on 42nd Avenue. Thankfully, that man not injured. The sheriff says Small then took off. That's when St. Pete police arrived. That dash cam rolling. Here they say you can see Small pointing a gun at an officer. That officer gets out of his car. His body cam then shows Small shoot at the officer. They say that officer fired 13 rounds in return, one of which partially hit Small, who had a minor injury. They say he dropped the gun, but he ran off before he was arrested. They say from the moment those shots were fired until Small was in custody, just six minutes. This entire incident just took six minutes. Small, though, had just been released from prison after serving nine years. Because of Small's criminal record and having been released from the Florida Department of Corrections only 28 days before he tried to murder two people, including a police officer with this 9mm handgun with a 50-round uh, magazine, uh, he faces mandatory life in prison with no opportunity for release under Florida's prison releasee reoffender law. Now, the sheriff says investigators are still looking for the driver of this Honda Accord and anybody who might have been inside that Small initially fired at. They say they have not been able to locate any potential victims here, though they do say there have been no hospital reports of any gunshot wounds, but they still would very much like to talk to the driver of that vehicle. Again, the Pinellas County Youth of Deadly Force Task Force is still reviewing the shooting. We'll update you with any more additional information. For now, reporting live in Largo, Genevieve Curtis, Fox 13 News.